Hi everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be making a card using some designer series paper from the Pattern Party DSP pack which is available with a qualifying spend. I think the this 12, there's 48 sheets of 12 by 12 double sided designer series paper in this pack and it's all coloured on one side and it's all black and white various patterns on the reverse side. And I think the value is around about £30 and you can get it for, I think, 17 with a qualifying spend in my online stamping up shop. So I'll show you the pieces that I've pulled out to use for that in a minute. But the stamps that I'm going to use is Flowing Flowers. I'm going to use this flower, this one, and possibly just a note. I've not decided yet. I'm also using the Stitched So Sweetly dies. I love these dies use these for all sorts of things they did go with a stamp set which got retired last year but the um the dies are still available and so 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 useful and i've got a few cards coming up on my channel that use these dies so i'm just going to pop those on one side and i've got the stamps already on blocks just to save some time so for the first card, it's going to be predominantly black and white, but with a little bit of Highland Heather. So I've got a UK piece of A4 card, which I've cut across the middle on the long side, scored and folded to give me what we call an A6 card here in the UK. It's very similar size to an A2 card in the US. I've got a piece of basic white which I've cut down to go on the inside, a scrap of the designer series paper that's also for the inside so I'll leave that on one side for a minute and then for the front of the card these are three of the black and white designs as you can see all the patterns are different on the other side. It really is such a useful packet of paper so I've cut this this piece at one and three quarter by the width of my card and then these two I've cut from the square dies which I think they were called stitched shape dies and they had square circles and ovals and they have now retired but I know a lot of you have still got them if you've not got them just cut squares this one is two and five eighths and this one is two and one eighth and you probably can't see the detail but it is stitched around the edge on both of them. So I'm going to do a little bit of colouring first of all. So I'll just move this packet of paper out of the way. And I'm going to bring in a Highland Heather Light Stamping Up Blend. And I'm going to colour in some of these flowers. Now this is going to get layered up on the front and some of it is going to get covered over with the shapes so I don't need to colour it all but I'll I'll colour quite a few quickly and then we'll see how we go on so I'm literally just only I'm not doing any shading I'm just going to colour in in the Highland Heather and this is my stamping pierce mat that I've just wrapped a piece of um, paper around just to protect it while I'm colouring because the blends do bleed through the reverse side of your card or paper. Okay, so I think this is going to be okay. So that's going to go on the bottom of my card like this. Then I'm going to put my biggest square and my smaller square and then this is going to go over here so I think I've probably got everything coloured that I need so now I'm going to stamp the flower so I'm going to bring in my Highland Heather ink and I've already got the stamp mounted up so let's see if I can get this stamped on here okay just going to give this a quick clean I've got my stamping scrub at the side so that can be drying because I'm going to use that on another card then this is going to get stuck 
on the inside. And I'm just going to position it like so. Then I've got the other flower, which I'm going to ink up in the same Highland Heather. And I'm just going to stamp this like so. So this can go on the inside. I'm going to position this on here. And you can see how the blends bleed through. That's why I used my um, mat wrapped in paper. I'm going to position this about a quarter of an inch from the bottom, but it's going the full width of my card. And then I'm going to position my squares. like so and then this one I'm going to pop up on dimensionals but I'm debating whether or not to stamp the just a note across the front in black or whether to just leave it. I think I'll leave it blank because I'm going to package up some of these cards that I make on my channel and put them in little packets to maybe give away so if I don't stamp on everything then at least somebody's got a card that they can just use for their own use so I'll just pop this up on dimensionals without stamping a greeting so I've just got a little dish on the side here that I just put all the little backs of my um, dimensionals on and then I'll just dump them all in the bin when I get five minutes so that's going to go like so Then I've got these pastel pearls. So I'm going to bring in some of these. And these come in like two shades of purple, pink and blue. So it should all match. Pop one there. Maybe one down here. I'm just using my take your pick tool to get these off. Let's see, we'll pop on there. So there it is, just black and white papers that I've coloured in. Uh, one of them used the Highland Heather ink to match the blend for the colouring in. And then when you open it up inside, you've got the colour following through and a little bit of designer series paper to match what's on the front. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.